I came from a family of physicians. My father was an OBGYN. I was exposed to medicine from an early age, and surgery was attractive to me because you see results quickly, and, and that fits my personality style very well. My practice now, both general surgery and varicose veins, touches on a lot of things that uh, really kind of hit the sweet spots for me. Patients, I think, make their way to me because they're looking looking for help in, in areas where they've struggled to find help elsewhere. There's trust involved there. And I think that is sacred almost between a physician and patient. They're entrusting you know, their health care to the individual that they're going to, and it's my job to reciprocate that as best I can. There's a lot of levels you know, for providing health care from beginning to the end. And from a surgical perspective, from a general, general surgery perspective or a varicose vein perspective, our job is to uh, guide patients through you know, decision making, have them make you know, sound decisions, move forward on a procedure that we think will restore health um, or make a decision about you know other options that may be you know somewhat less invasive because they're always our option. Varicose veins have gone through a, a huge evolution. Years ago we had you know, bigger operations for varicose veins. Vein stripping is a term that many people have heard of. It refers to a, a much bigger operation, general anesthesia, fairly uh, prolonged recovery. Turn of the century, technology gets better, um, imaging gets better. And, um, and all of a sudden, we've got you know, newer, minimally invasive techniques to deal with varicose veins. The treatments depend a little bit on the levels where the veins aren't working very well. Um, and we learn a lot of that from ultrasound. So we use ultrasound frequently to help diagnose and figure out where the veins are working well and where they're, uh, where they're not working so well. And depending on that, that'll route us down in you know, different procedural pathways and all these things we do in the office nowadays. As a result, people can come into the office, they can have their legs treated and walk out. And most of the time those treatments take less than an hour and the people are back up on their feet right away. It's rewarding uh, to have patients come back you know, within you know, a week or two and, and report that, hey, my legs have been sore for months or years um, and now they feel better. That's awesome.